We live in a great country. It's a wonderful country, but it's one that uh, many people today seem to be embarrassed to be a part of. Watching the news or getting on social media, talking to people who uh, you run into as you do what you do in your life, <laughs> Uh, it's easy to come to the conclusion, just based on the things that people say about the United States, that we should be embarrassed to live where we do, that there's nothing in our country to be proud of. In fact, when we say, I'm proud of my country, I'm proud of my nation, there are some people that will look at you kind of sideways and other people who will even get upset because they want to talk about the things that we as Americans have historically done wrong. Now, there is no perfect country, and the United States certainly is not a perfect country. We have our problems and we have our issues. But I would submit that there is much to be proud of if you are an American. <laughs> if you live in this country, a country that people from all over the world are trying to get to, you can be proud. I think this, and I believe this, and I'm not always the, the super vocal uh, guy about some of these things. I am proud of my country and proud of my heritage. But I was a part of a conversation not too long ago that reminded me of this truth, that we should be proud to be Americans. If you watch this channel at all, you uh, know that recently my family and I were on a, a trip to, uh, to Germany. That's where my wife is from, and we visited her family there and had a good time. And, and uh, also while we were there, did some sightseeing. One of the places that we went to was the Dachau concentration camp in uh, the city of Dachau. And um, my kids, I have older kids um, in their early adult and late teen years. And then I have younger kids. I have a, an 11-year-old and a 9-year-old. And so going to a place like that with the kids being those different ages, <laughs> we had a lot of conversations around how exactly we'd handle that. And what we decided to do, um, I had been there before, and so I knew the layout and knew where the displays were and, and the ones that may be more or less age appropriate. And so I took the two young kids and started to kind of give them a personal guided tour, took them, took them to the places um, where I wanted them to see things and understand things. Even though they're young, we wanted them to understand the history there and understand what can happen without showing them everything. So uh, we, we went to the, the uh, train platform where so many of the prisoners were brought in and we went through the main gates. And if you've been there, you know that as you go through the main gates of Dachau, there are uh, plaques on either side of the wall that talk about the army units, the United States army units that uh, liberated that camp in 1945. You go inside, there's another place that talks about the liberation of the camp. And, and uh, we started to go through some of the displays. I took the kids through that, my younger kids, and looked at the map and talked about what set this whole event, World War II, up as, as much as I could <laughs> at a very basic level. And we talked about these things and looked at things. They asked a lot of questions. And, and uh, when they weren't asking questions, they were very quiet, trying to understand it all and take it in. We were walking to one of the displays outside from uh, the main area where there's kind of the museum set up to um, a demonstration, uh, an exhibit of where uh, the folks would have stayed, the, the quarters there. As we're walking across the, the, the yard, my, my uh, youngest, my nine-year-old, uh, he had been thinking and, and been pretty quiet, and he said, Dad, um, I don't know why I'm thinking this right now. Now, what normally follows him saying something like that, it's anybody's guess, right? <laughs> he said, I don't know why I'm thinking this right now, but I'm really proud to be American. And that's what he said. There was no prompting there. There was no me explaining to him how he should be proud to be American. We're in another country visiting the site of one of history's great atrocities, talking about so many people that were mercilessly treated and then killed. But in his mind, what he got from all of that was, in spite of how bad things were there, it was Americans that came and set those people free. And he was overwhelmed, even as a nine-year-old, with the thought that I should be so proud of my country and proud of what we've done. I didn't exactly know how to respond to that. I, I was a bit overwhelmed with that statement. And what I said to him was this, son, you should be proud. You should be proud of your country because even though we're not perfect and even though we have our problems and we're dealing with our own stuff, America historically has been a nation that cared for the oppressed, that set captives around the world free, and we continue to do that. 
America is a great nation, and I know there are many people who would say that we're wrong somehow for saying that. Even Americans enjoying the freedoms that they have uh, that don't seem to understand what it means to be an American. But even a nine-year-old, when he looks at things objectively, understanding that there are people around the world who would imprison others, and it's Americans who would give everything to set them free, his conclusion was, man, I'm so thankful to be an American. You know what? I too am thankful and proud to be an American. And I hope that you are too.